Welcome, folks. This is Shooting Up North. I am your host, Lewis Carlin. We are heard on the Impact Lounge. Thank you for joining me today. These are my impact thoughts. I have a few things on my mind, so let's get right down to it. There's been a uh, bit of a debate um, not too long ago. Uh, Impact Wrestling, uh, they posted on social media calling the North uh, one of the best tag teams in the world. I, I don't remember the exact the tweet or post, but uh, it was alluding to them being the best tag team in the world. And um, a lot of <laughs> a lot of uh, Impact Wrestling trolls kind of lost their shit on that. And they were like, oh, no, they're not the best tag team in the world. Uh, no way they're the best tag team in the world. They're not even close. Um yeah, actually, they are one of the best tag teams in the world, uh, in my opinion. Uh, they could get in the ring with any single team on the face of this planet from any promotion and have a great match. The North, Josh Alexander, Ethan Page are without a doubt one of the best tag teams in the world, hands down. You know, and some people are kind of making the argument that, oh, they, they haven't been a team long enough. So they uh, they can't possibly be the best uh, one of the best tag teams in the world. No, they've been a tag team for a very very long time. They were a team called Monster Mafia for Alpha One Wrestling and many independent promotions here in Ontario for a, for a number of years. So they had a long time to work on the moves, work on the chemistry, work on gelling together, and. It was the perfect time for them to come together in Impact Wrestling and to become um, a, a tag team, a, a great the Impact Wrestling tag team champions, which is what they are. And uh, I don't see them losing those titles for a very long time. This because the, the tag team division right now is a little thin in Impact Wrestling. Yeah, I, I, you have to admit, uh, you have um, you have Reno Scum, you have the Rascals, you have they they threw together uh, T.J. Perkins and Falaba. Uh, so it's it's a little thin right now. It's a little thin right now. So I don't see anybody uh, defeating them for the tag team titles for a while. But uh, they are um, a tremendous tag team. I mean, you could put them in the ring with like say uh, Sonata and Evil uh, from New Japan Pro Wrestling, one of the best tag teams in the world. That would be a phenomenal match. Uh, look to AEW. Who you got there? You got the Young Bucks. Young Bucks uh, tag team excellence there. They would have a phenomenal match with with the Young Bucks. Uh, I mean, you had um, uh, LAX, which uh, I I don't think LAX is uh, is being uh, used as well in AEW as they were being used in in Impact Wrestling. But I'm sure they're making a lot more money, so it's uh, it's it it, it all kind of works out for them. Uh, of course, you know they've had tremendous matches with LAX. Uh, any team in the WWE. Uh, the, the, um, I don't know. I can't think of any teams in the WWE right now because I don't really watch the WWE. Uh, but um, I'm sure with any team in the WWE, they, they could hold their own and uh, have a tremendous match with. So uh, so there you go. There's the, the, there's my opinion on that. And uh, let's talk about Josh Alexander. Let's talk about Josh Alexander. While I said, you know, the, the tag team division is kind of thin uh, and I, I anticipate the North to be uh, a tag team for a while, I would love to see Josh Alexander get... A solo run in Impact Wrestling. And I might have touched upon this before, but Josh Alexander is absolutely tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. He could have, just like the North could have a, a great match with any tag team in the world, Josh Alexander could have a great one on one match with basically anybody in the world. And he deserves, if anyone deserves a singles run, it's it's definitely Josh Alexander. And I know Impact Wrestling, they've lost a lot of big names. Uh, you know, Brian Cage, apparently gone. Um, Johnny Impact, you know, left for the WWE. Um, Eli Drake gone. A lot of big names. A lot of big names have, have left. And Josh Alexander has, has the, the skill... Josh Alexander has what it takes to step into that role and be a big solo star in Impact Wrestling. And I, I, I'm looking forward to the day when Ethan Ethan Page turns on Josh Alexander or vice versa and uh, they go their separate ways because they've had matches together as well. As they've been a tag team, like I said earlier, for a number of years, they've had many solo matches as well. And they're just they're tremendous. Just tremendous. 
give them a shot. I say give them a shot eventually. Um, they're, they're bringing a, they, they, hopefully they can bring in some more tag teams, um, put the titles on somebody else, and then break up the North, and they can have two solo stars. Well, one definite solo star in Josh Alexander. I'm sure Ethan Page also a very, very good solo wrestler, but this is something about Josh Alexander, the walking weapon, that you know, I, I see him being the Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion one day. It's just... It's, it's just outstanding, outstanding in the ring. If you have a chance, go on YouTube, type in Josh Alexander, and watch a couple of his uh, solo matches. It's just absolutely fantastic. Don't want to keep repeating myself here, but that's 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 my take on that. That's my take on that. TNA is having a throwback show. Uh, I should say Impact Wrestling is having a TNA, um, TNA uh, throwback show, a reunion show. Um... I'm gonna be honest here. I'm gonna be honest here. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to this because why? Why go back to the past when you should be looking to the future? Is in my opinion. I don't. I don't. I mean, they. They just. They just announced um, the, the last t- quote unquote uh, talent announcement. I don't know if you want to call it talent, but talent announcement uh, for this TNA show is Dave Penzer. Dave Penzer was 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 the big announcement. Honestly, who cares? Who cares? I don't think anybody is at home who's an Impact Wrestling fan going, "Oh, oh man, Dave Penzer. Dave Penzer is coming back. Oh, I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this." Dave Dave Penzer. Dave, did you hear? I gotta call everybody up and let them know Dave Penzer is coming back. Quite frankly, you know, and I, I don't want to—I don't want to piss anybody off here. But quite frankly, who cares? I'm not looking forward to this. I, I don't think it's—it's uh, it's the right thing to do. I think a better thing to do would be to find some young talent that has that have potential to be signed by Impact Wrestling and to be the future of Impact Wrestling. They should, they should have an Impact Wrestling future, future star show. That, I think, would be better. I think that would go over a lot better than having this uh, TNA uh, throwback show. I mean, it's not going to work. I mean, the TNA throwback show is not going to work unless you bring back guys like uh, AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, Samoa Joe, um, Kurt Angle, Jeff Jarrett, uh, Sting. Uh, then it could be, and then it might be a little exciting. But all the names I just mentioned is that it's impossible for them to be coming back because um, one, two, three, four, five are signed with WWE, and Christopher Daniels is signed with AEW, so they're not coming back. But you know, it's it's a mistake. It's a mistake. My opinion. Sorry if I'm irritating anybody, but it's it's an it's a mistake. Um, and um, I hope this is just a one-off thing and they don't do it again. Uh, but again, what can you do? I, I'm I'm not Scott Demore. I'm not Don Callis. They're making the decisions. I can only voice my opinion on it. Uh, so um, so that's my opinion on that. Uh, they have a they have a show upcoming. Um, Impact has a show upcoming. Outbreak, and it's going to be in Kentucky. It's going to be in the Lexington Ice Center. Now they have a show. Um, they have a, a, pay, um, a show. Uh, the, it's either the day before or the day after. I think it's the day after. Uh, where it's going to be at a, um, at uh, the Davis Arena in uh, I believe in in Kentucky. Uh, so they're having this show here at the Lexington Ice Center in Kentucky. Uh, outbreak. Now I looked at I looked up the the capacity of the Lexington Ice Center. And I really hope. You know, I've looked it up. I looked it up in two two separate websites, two different sites, and it, both sites indicated that the capacity for the Lexington Ice Center is fifty one people. Fifty one people. I hope that's a mistake, because Impact Wrestling, they they. I think they're. I think they're a little. Uh, they're they're a little larger than having to to run a show in a in a an ice center that has a capacity of 51 people. This is basically a large ice rink. You know, basically a large ice rink. People go ice skating. They might have some minor league hockey games here. And uh, Impact Wrestling is is doing their their outbreak show there. Why? I mean, you know, why 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 an ice center? Why an ice center? I know that that uh, they're going to be at the Davis Arena, like I like I mentioned. I believe it's the Davis Arena. I didn't I didn't uh, write it down, but they're having a show. I, I, it is probably I, it is the following day um, in Kentucky. Um, but why why an ice center? You know, think about the locations that they have for their shows. Uh, they, they they run a show in a brewery, a uh, bash at the brewery. They they in a brewery. It, it just it doesn't come across well. 
when you watch it that they're having a wrestling show in a brewery, and now they do. Now they're going to this ice center. There's got to be better places for them to have these shows. I mean, I mean, there could be just like an auditorium or something, something that. I mean, you look in in Windsor, in Windsor here, uh, where um, when they they're coming um, for lockdown. But uh, they do it at the St. Clair College, and that's that's a that's a nice place. That's a good place to run shows. It fits a lot of people, and um, it comes across well on TV. But if they're gonna do Bash at the Brewery, or or Ice Centers, or or like then there are a few other locations, uh, like or like small clubs. It just it doesn't come across like small dance clubs. Doesn't come across well on TV, and it's just material for the Impact Wrestling Trolls when they're watching Bash at the Brewery and they say, oh, look, look, four people in the audience. And because that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It looks like there's four or five people in the audience. Uh, I, well, I shouldn't say four or five, but it looks like there's hardly anybody there. And they, I mean, look, MLW, Major League Wrestling, they're, they're, I would say they're they're not quite at the same level as Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling Impact Wrestling is higher up on the uh, on the uh, pro wrestling uh, chart, <laughs> pro wrestling chart uh, than Major League Wrestling. But Major League Wrestling they run their shows and Ring of Honor as well. They run their shows in locations that look good. In location, I mean, when they're in Chicago, they're at the MLW. They're at the Cicero State Cicero Stadium, and it looks good. It looks like an arrest. Looks like a wrestling arena, and it looks good. It comes across good on TV. You know, it's like they're really carefully planning where they're gonna have their shows. Just Impact Wrestling say we're gonna run a show. There's a brewery. Let's go check. Oh, yeah, that's just you know. I, I don't. I don't feel like. Uh, I don't feel like looking for a, a real location. Let's just have it here in the brewery. You know, it's just. It's. They can do better. They can do better than that. They can do better than that. Uh, what else do we got here? What else we got here? Um, Alpha One Wrestling. Alpha One Wrestling is uh, debuting on Impact Wrestling Plus. So that's great news for Impact Impact Wrestling Plus subscribers. Alpha One Wrestling is a promotion here in Ontario that's run by Ethan Page. Um, of course, one half of the North. But it's his promotion. Uh, and it's a great promotion. They have great talent. And um, it's highly recommended. Highly recommended. So if you have Impact, if you have Impact Plus, it's, it's a very, very, very exciting news uh, for Impact Plus uh, subscribers. Definitely watch some Alpha One Wrestling. They um, Impact lately. Lately, Impact Wrestling names have been showing up there. And uh, March twenty second, they're actually having um, Deadly Encounters where. Impact Wrestling is apparently supposed to invade Alpha One Wrestling. Uh, so the names confirmed for that show, Sammy Callahan, Moose, um, Trey Miguel, uh, Josh Alexander. Well, these guys are, are always, these guys are, are kind of regulars uh, at Alpha One Wrestling. But uh, but it looks like Impact Wrestling is calling it an invasion for this show. So obvious, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this show is actually run live. <coughs> On Impact Plus, uh, it's, there's no confirmation on that, but I wouldn't be surprised you now because they're kind of plugging it as a as an invasion, Impact Wrestling play, invasion. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's if it's run live on the Impact uh, Plus um, uh, sub- subscription website or app. Uh, but uh, but anyway, but once well, it's it's on there now, Alpha One Wrestling is on there now. If if you have Impact Plus, like I said. Check it out. It's great, great stuff. I'm not sure which shows, if they're updated shows or if they're older shows, but um, you'll see you'll see stars like Kobe Durst, um, who is a, a tremendous, tremendous wrestler. Uh, there's other, other uh, up-and-coming stars that you'll see on there as well. So definitely, one more time. I know BQ said you you repeat yourself too much and you gotta stop you gotta stop that. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna say you have to check out Alpha One Wrestling. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that one more time, and I won't say that again. But uh, yeah, <coughs> so um, great news for Impact um, Plus subscribers. Um, what else do we got? Uh, Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace. She has um, confirmed that she's is, is signed through May twenty first, two thousand twenty one, which is very good news for Impact Wrestling. Uh, she is the new Knockouts Champion, and it's good that she's going to be around for a while. 
uh, at least uh, she's going to be for over a year. Jordan Grace is going to be um, part of the Impact Wrestling roster. Big fan of Jordan Grace. Very, very talented in the ring. And um, I'm glad uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of, of Jordan Grace. Now, when she defeated Taya Valkyrie for the for the knockouts title, a lot of people were saying, oh, looks like Taya Valkyrie is uh, she's leaving to go join her husband in the WWE. Now, just because... Her husband's in the WWE. Doesn't mean she wants to be in the WWE. Doesn't mean she needs to follow her husband um, wherever he is and be there. I mean, it's it's nice, you know, you get to work with your spouse, but it's it's not a foregone conclusion that she's going to go to the WWE. And people, people, these trolls are like, well, I mean, for, first of all, let me ask a question: Is there a contract offer from the WWE to Ty Valkyrie? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. That's 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 the that's a very crucial step in getting her to go to the WWE is she actually needs to be offered a contract. Uh, She can't just say, well, I am no longer the Impact Wrestling Champion, so guess what? I'm going to the WWE. Yeah, not without a contract, she's not. But And again, for these trolls, again, why automatically because she loses her title because there's a title change that it means that uh, she's leaving. Uh, title changes happen all the time. They happen all the time in the WWE. Whenever a title change happens in the WWE, uh, you're getting on the WWE site and saying, oh, well, uh, Seth Rollins just lost um, uh, well, the Intercontinental title. Uh, I, I guess he's going to AEW. You know, it's, it's stupid. It's dumb. She's actually signed, I believe, until the end of the year. So Taya Valkyrie isn't going anywhere. Taya Valkyrie isn't going anywhere. Um... And that's that. And that's that. She's hanging around. She's hanging around. Um, where is Larry D? <laughs> Does anybody know where Larry D is? Uh, he was signed. Uh, Scott Demore got in the ring. Scott Demore got in the ring and did his uh, little little shtick, saying, "Oh, guess what? Um, uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna offer you this contract right here on the spot." And Larry D took it. And Larry D is like, "Oh yeah, I got a contract with, with Impact Wrestling," and he's hugging Scott Demore and he's like going nuts. But we haven't seen we haven't seen this was a few months ago, and we haven't seen Larry D since. Where's Larry D? I, I looked up uh, I looked up his matches on Cage Match, and he hasn't had an Impact Wrestling match ever since he not even a dark match. Yeah, he hasn't had any uh, any matches ever since he's been offered that contract. So uh, where and what are they going to do with Larry D? Uh, well, what's the plan? And uh, you haven't seen AC Romero as either in, in a while. And what's the plan with these guys? I mean, just going to hand out a contract and say, you know what, uh, you have the contract. You know, and and I'm sure he's not getting paid. It's it's not like he signed a contract. He's gonna and he starts getting a paycheck every week. It's probably a per appearance. And um, so uh, back to the question: What are they gonna do with him? What are they gonna do with him? And I, I mentioned AC Romero, but we'll get to AC Romero in a second. But what, are they, what 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 can they do with Larry D? I believe he's like he's over 35 years old. Yeah, and. Um, I can't. I can't think of unless you know. Unless you know, and I mentioned this to BQ. Unless they, <laughs> unless they put him in a tag team with AC Romero and and um, uh, Lord knows they need another tag team. But you know, it'll be I guess their version of <laughs> it'll be their version of, of Ring of Honor is the Bouncers, uh, Beer City Bruiser and uh, the other guy. I can't remember his name. But but what again? I can't think of what they might want to do. I mean, it's that like unless they're going to use him as uh, talent enhancement. I don't know, but we need to see him. We need to see him. He's got the contract. He got all excited, you know. Scott Demore. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure uh, when uh, Scott Demore gave him the title. I'm sorry, gave him the contract. He he called his entire family and said, "Hey, guess what? I finally got a contract. My dreams are finally coming true. I've." I got a contract with Impact Wrestling, and and they're like, "All right, when's your first match?" And he's like, "I don't know." And a couple months go by, and there, I'm sure his family, like, "Hey, hey, are you gonna be on this? <laughs> are you gonna be on this set of uh, TV tapings?" Nope. So, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on there. I I like to see. Uh, Curious to see what they would do with him. Uh, but you know, again, he's I believe he's over 35 years old. <clears throat> But um, they need to give contracts to, to some younger talent, some young, exciting talent. You know, and I know on the last one, uh, on the last um, show I did, I mentioned Aiden Prince. But there's a couple of names here. You know, and I'm 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 familiar with Ontario indie wrestling, so that's that's where I see 
uh, the talent, the indie talent that I think has an opportunity uh, to make it uh, Impact Wrestling. Uh, there's a couple of guys. There's a couple of guys up here. Uh, and, uh, in addition to Aiden Prince, I mean, you got Kevin Blackwood. Kevin Blackwood was on Explosion. He went one-on-one with Josh Alexander. It was a tremendous match. Probably the best match of all time uh, for Explo- Impact Explosion. Uh, Kevin Blackwood could go. He would be a terrific addition to Impact Wrestling. And he was with Smash Wrestling uh, here in Ontario. But uh, he left Smash Wrestling and signed with Destiny Wrestling. And Destiny Wrestling has the working agreement with Impact Wrestling. So I, I think uh, we're going to see. I-, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Kevin Blackwood up uh, with uh, Impact Wrestling very soon. You have Kevin Bennett. Kevin Bennett, tremendously talented wrestler uh, that is um, actually from New York, but yeah, he wrestles up here a lot in uh, on the Ontario indie scene. Tremendous, tremendous wrestler. Uh, currently the Smash Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Uh, he's in C4. You see him in C4 all the time. Uh, he would be another great addition. There's a, there's a monster. There's a monster, a suplex machine wrestling out of New York that is starting to make noise up here in Ontario. His name is The Natural, Nick Sullivan. Good gosh, if they need another monster in Impact Wrestling, Nick Sullivan is the man. Scott Demore should get in the ring. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. There's also another There's another young kid up here. He's 18 years old that Impact Wrestling should definitely take a look at and jump on. Junior Benito. Junior Benito is another tremendous, tremendous, tremendous talent. And he's only 18 years old. And he's just getting better and better and better. Uh, TDT has a a tag team up here. Another tremendous, tremendous tag team. They're... Every match that they're involved in, this tag team TDT is, is just fantastic. Uh, and you have out of the Maritimes, you have Sabotage. Sabotage, uh, another tremendous tag team that I believe would be um, would be uh, great uh, in Impact Wrestling. And the list goes on and on. There's, there's you know, like, you got Lil Blay up here. You got uh, El Reverso, who we've, we've seen on Impact Wrestling Um when they, whenever they come up here to Ontario, uh, Kobe Christ, another terrific, terrific wrestler out of the Maritimes, a lot of talent, and you know, and I'm just talking about what I see up here. I, I don't know what's going on anywhere else. Um, uh, like I don't know, I, I couldn't tell you who who the the best independent wrestler in Oklahoma is. So I I, I wouldn't know, but I, I'm just going by guys that I see up here. Uh, so if if you're listening and you say, oh, what about this guy? What about this guy? It's just, I'm going by uh, what I see up here in Ontario. Uh, but they definitely, I mean, if you could put a show together with all these guys instead of doing that TNA um, reunion show, uh, I think that would be a little more appealing, a lot more appealing to, to the pro wrestling fans because I think they would get a better better show. Uh, but Scott Demore, he's got to, if, if you're going to sign anybody, I mean, Aiden Prince is ready. Aiden Prince is ready. And I, and I mentioned this last time, you know, they're coming up here for lockdown. For, good, for goodness sake, man. Scott Demore, get in the ring, do that um, offering you a contract in the ring thing to Aiden Prince. That, that would be fantastic. Giving him a contract uh, in Windsor, his hometown, would be absolutely fantastic. Um, and any of the guys I mentioned, any of the guys I mentioned, just uh, if they could just bring them in and just uh, build up that X Division again, it'd be it'll be a lot more appealing. It'd be a lot more appealing than watching uh, Joey Ryan's dick flips. Sorry, I'm not a big fan of Joey Ryan, but a lot more appealing than watching Rob Van Dam's sex show that, that, that we're seeing on a weekly basis that got them banned from Twitch. Uh, I think they're back on, though. I think they're back on Twitch, but but uh, be a lot more appealing than that. Be a lot more appealing than, you know, hey, we need somebody in this uh, hardcore match. Let's call Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> Well, uh, let's call Tommy Dreamer and bring Tommy Dreamer back. Uh, it'd be a lot more appealing than that uh, if they could bring in young, fresh, new talent. That said, I think um, I am done. I have nothing else. Oh, there's. Uh, they did release. Let me just go over this. They did release um, the an updated lineup for Sacrifice. Uh, I think Sacrifice is the show that's going to be in um, Kentucky, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But it's um, <clears throat> Tessa Blanchard defending the Impact Wrestling Championship against um, Ace Austin. 
uh, who's the X Division champion. Uh, the Impact Wrestling Knockouts Championship, Jordan Grace, defends against Havoc. Uh, the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Championship, the North versus the Rascals, Rhino versus Moose, and Daga versus Jake Chris. So you have uh, you have a decent card there of uh, professional wrestling on Sacrifice at Sacrifice. So I'm just gonna look over my notes to make sure I haven't missed anything, and I got everything that said. I want to thank everybody for listening today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This was Shooting Up North, as heard on the Impact Lounge. Until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.